Hi there, thank you for joining me today. In this video, we are going to check the MPC bit software we just got released today. Uh, so this is going to be a very quick review. I'm just going to download and install the software and uh, then we will be able to check it out. Let's go. So here we are, we just received a link from Akai to be able to download uh, the very new MPC Beats software. So basically you just have to fill in the form uh, from the Akai professional website and then they will mail you uh, the link to download the software. So here I'm just going to click on PC and uh, you can see it's starting the download already. I can see that it's saying version 2.8.1, uh, which is similar to the very last release of the MPC software. So I'm very anxious to see uh, which features are included in that free software compared to the MPC software. That's very exciting news, guys. It means that many people are going to be able to enjoy the MPC workflow and uh, hopefully as more people are using the MPC software, we may have in the future, uh, in future releases, uh, maybe more features in the MPC software. Uh, we all know that uh, like the MPC flagship is really uh, all the standalone uh, units like uh, the MPC Live 2 or the MPC 1, MPC X. Uh, however, uh, in order to compete with the market, um, I'm guessing they are trying to push uh, the MPC software a bit more. Here we are, we just launched the MPC software. So at first glance, it looks a lot um, like MPC Beats looks a lot like the MPC software. Um, first thing, it's asking me to connect a device. I have uh, my Akai MPK49 plugged in. I'm just going to click next to continue. So here it's asking me to create a MIDI map. I'm going to do another video here to show you how to map any controller that you want in case your controller is not listed here. So here I would create new MIDI mapping, but we are not going to, to do that today. So select my workspace advance, of course, and then start making beats. Nice. So here the, this interface is very different from the MPC software. Um, it's, it's similar to uh, the features that you have in other DAWs, like, uh, the type of templates because currently for sure in the MPC software you can create a couple of templates but you don't have that splash screen here uh, when you first open the, the software same thing with the demo tracks you don't have th that interface which allows you uh, it's really nice and also here you have this section with, uh, which allows you to um, open a recent project this is awesome so um, I'm just going to open a basic using the basic template. Let's open that up. And let's check uh, the virus menu to see what has changed uh, with the MPC bit software. So here from the file menu, I'm just uh, going, that's for my first time opening this going through the menu let me go to the preferences so here this is where you would map your vst plugins i'm not going to go through this today Elastic Pro, that's good. So
So the first thing here that I see is that we have access to the pad perform um, here from the software, it seems like it. So if I have an instrument track like the keys, I have access to the pad. pad this is awesome. It's going to display the keys here on the bottom. That's a great uh, option. Uh, basically, that's a chord helper. Um, that's very nice that it comes with this free version of the software. The mixing window looks the same. I know there is a limit in the number of tracks that we can open at the same time. Here you have your programs and stuff. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, I'm going to be uh, reviewing this a bit more. I'm curious to see if they have included anything which is not um, in version 2.8. I have not upgraded to 2.8.1 yet on uh, my software. And um, I'm very curious to, um, to test this and see how different it is from the MPC software. What do you think, guys? So please leave your comments in the section below and uh, catch me on the next episode.